Hi hey guys, it's Ross again. Uh, today I'm going to try to show you how I do hazard stripes. So I've used a little bit of modelling masking tape around the doorway. And it's always better if you're doing a yellow and black hazard stripe to hit the yellow first and then paint over the yellow with the black. Because if you try to go over the black for the yellow, you'll find you've got to put a fair few coats on. So I've masked off this area here. I will just mix up some of my yellow and I'll blast the center of this with the yellow. Okay, I've mixed up my yellow. I'm going to go for a quite bright yellow initially. Later on I'll put some weathering on it. So I just want to hit the center of this thing. Okay, and I'll go back the other way. So I'll see there'll be recesses. Recesses to where the paint I want to go. And as per usual when I'm doing any airbrushing, I'm putting two thin coats on it. I'm going to do that and then hit it too hard too fast. But with the airbrush, it normally dries pretty fast anyway. So. Give that a couple minutes. And I'll hit it again. Okay, next I thought I would try some old school GW yellow ink. So I'll throw that on there. That is more natural yellow, I think, not too garish. I do. And next I will tape up for the black stripes. Okay, and now I've taped up a few of the stripes, leaving the gap same width as the tape, so every other should be black, giving my black a bit of a shake. Once again, I'm using a MIG color. I like these guys for airbrushing. Got a ball bearing inside, so it's nice for shaking. Give it a bit of a squirt, see if it's any good. Nice and smooth consistency. Alright, okay. Okay, of course you can put more tape on if you wish. The surrounding edges so you don't get overspray. Wait a few minutes, then hit it with a second coat. Okay, so now we take the tape off and we hope and we pray that I don't take the tape, uh, the paint off underneath. So I'm using airbrushing tape, but you can use uh, masking tape, very gentle. Don't use anything like sad tape because it will probably take the paint off. Remember if there's any issues underneath that aren't too severe, you can always touch it up. That's quite a gentle tape so it shouldn't damage the paint underneath. OK, 
Okay, so there we go. It's looking pretty good so far. Next, I'll do the chipping. So I'll take a little bit of silver here and there. An edge highlight. But that's the basics. I'm not entirely sure where the door frame begins and ends. Maybe I should go on the runners as well. But that being said, that's the basics of doing the hazard stripes. I'll do the weathering and chipping next. Okay, so once dry, should look something like this. Now I've got a sponge, just a sponge and blister pack, and just dabbed a little bit of a bolt gun metal on it. So I'm just gonna dab it. This is looking a little bit chipped and beaten. I'm going to do the same thing with a dark-ish brown. Padding off on the tile the excess. That's the kind of thing I'm trying to create, and when it's all dry on the edge of the brown, I'm going to put a brighter yellow to give the illusion of depth on the chip. Well, that's the that's the general idea anyway, and has the worn hazard stripes. So remember, just use some tape. I mean, this is like airbrush tape; so it doesn't stick to paint generally. You can use masking tape; it's fine. Um, not sell a tape or anything like that because it will probably take the paint off. But yeah, have fun, experiment a little bit, and uh, yeah, go a little bit crazy with the the sponge. Come up with some weird and wonderful effects. I mean, that's just quickly painted. It's okay. But um, I'll throw some pictures up on our Facebook page and Instagram. And uh, yeah, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.